I've taught hundreds of students to play the guitar over the years, and their biggest struggle at the beginning is changing chords. They seem to get their fingers all jammed up. Well, in today's video, I want to show you some simple tricks to show you how to change chords quickly and easily so that you can get on with playing music. Let's check it out. Let's face it, learning the guitar at the beginning is difficult. It's a physically demanding instrument. You have to hang your arm over here like this. You have to play chords with this hand, and you got to make those chords sound good. And on top of that, you have to change chords in mid-song. It's not easy. I want to show you how to change chords in three different situations to set you up for success. Okay, so the first scenario you're going to come across is playing chords in the key of A. Now, I made up this little system I call the lift slide jump method. And I don't know if I actually made it up because I've seen it somewhere else before, but I like to think that I coined the phrase lift slide jump. All right, so we're going to take an A chord, but instead of playing A like this, we're going to use our first finger on the second fret, third string from the bottom and play A like this. So it kind of creates a bit of a triangle shape. Now our first finger, this is our important finger, this is going to be our pivot finger or our guide finger. And that's going to keep us on track and enable us to get to chords a lot quicker. So we're going to go from an A chord to a D chord and we're going to lift our second and third finger and drop down and find the D shape. Okay, so it took me a second but don't worry, it'll take a bit of time at first, but then you'll get to it a lot quicker as you practice. So we're gonna go A, leave our first finger, pivot, drop down to the D chord. And then we're gonna leave that first finger there and jump back to the A chord. So that's changing chords from A to D. Now we're gonna change from an A to an E chord. So we're gonna to continue to use that pivot or guide finger, the first finger. We're gonna lift our second and third finger and leave that there, first finger. We're gonna slide it back to the first fret and jump to the fifth and fourth string to get to the E chord. Okay, so I'm gonna pivot forward or slide forward back to A, lift second and third, slide back, jump to E. It takes a second to get there, but after a while, you'll just do it automatically. And that's a great way to change from A to E and from A to D. Now we're gonna go from D to E. So we start with a D chord, and this is our guide or pivot finger again. Lift our second, third finger, you guessed it, slide back to the first fret and jump to E. And you can do that slide forward to get to the D as well. Now you can play hundreds of songs with just A, D, and E chords, and this is a great method to quickly and easily and smoothly change between those chords. Let's do four strums on each chord, A, D, E, D and back to A, okay? You can play along. Lift, drop down to D. Lift, slide back to E. Lift, pivot forward to D. And then pivot back to A. Super smooth, and you'll get way faster at it, and it'll be great. Okay, so let's check out the second scenario that'll help you change chords quickly and easily. Now these are dealing with chords that fall outside of the key of A, so basically all the other chords. So let's take G for example. When you're getting to these chords, you want to put your first finger down first, your second finger down second, your third finger down third, and your fourth finger down fourth. Okay, so let's check it out. So for G, for example, you're going to put your first finger down first, your second finger down second, and your third finger down third. Now that's the order you're going to do it every time. First second, third. Now you have a method to the madness. You're not randomly putting fingers down and hoping for the best. You have a plan and you're executing it the same way every time. Now it'll take time to get there at the start and you're basically hunting and pecking for the notes. And it can be kind of annoying, but just be patient. And the more you do it in that same order and that same method, the quicker you'll get to the chord over time eventually to the point where you just drop all the fingers down at the same time. Instant. Now let's take another chord, C for example. This is a good one. So first finger down first, second finger down second, third finger down third. It took me a few seconds to get there, but keep doing it. First, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third. And you eventually, trust me, you eventually put them down all at the same time. It's the quickest way to change chords because you have a method 
to what you're doing. Let's take D minor next. So first finger down first, second finger down second, third finger down third. It's kind of hard to get to. Try it again, first, second, third. It takes a few seconds to get there. But then eventually, you're just gonna put them all down at the same time. So stick with it and be patient, and I guarantee you'll be dropping all those fingers at the same time. And the third scenario is the bar chord scenario, probably our least favorite one of all. Uh, check out this shape, the F shape. So same thing applies, first finger down first, but you're barring this time. Second finger down second, third finger down third, and then fourth finger. So try it again, first finger, second finger, third and fourth. Now just be patient with this one, it takes a little bit more effort to get there because there's a lot, because there's four fingers. But I guarantee if you do it in that order every time, you'll get there to, to the point where you'll just get so bored of doing it that you'll drop all your fingers at one time. So yeah, you don't want to be putting f other fingers down first like this in random patterns because you just end up scrambling your brain and you can't think straight with it and it gets frustrating and you'll definitely give up. So yeah, just recommend first finger down first, second, third, to get to that dreaded F chord. Okay, another scenario, the fuller bar chord shapes. Um, so for B minor, for example, you want to put your first finger down first, then your second finger down second, third finger, and fourth. Okay, you're, so you're really hunting and pecking on this one. First finger, second, third, fourth. It's going to take a while at first, but you got your method, you got your order, and I guarantee you'll have it in no time. Dropping those fingers down be rocking out to all your favorite songs. So another bonus tip for sticking around, some chords, it's not good to play all the strings. So C, for example, once you get that one figured out, you don't want to be playing that top open E string. It just doesn't sound good in the chord. So in order to fix that, I'm going to play my third finger on the G note and then play the C note with my fourth finger. There. So now you're covering all the strings and you can strum all the strings and it's gonna sound way better. I put together a video of the most useful things I've learned in 33 years of guitar playing. You can check it out here. See you in the next one.